we're going to apply this uh, PEI to this uh, glass plate here on this uh, artillery machine. Uh, I just got it and nothing seems to be sticking to the to the plate. So uh, I want to print some uh, some PETG and I haven't had any had much luck with it. So we're going to go ahead and uh, take this PEI sheet. It's 300 by 300 and I think this bed is 304 or 305 but it's plenty big enough for me. So let's go ahead and get started with this. Sometimes this is a little difficult to get off, but it's sticky on uh, on one side. And it's got a piece of protective film on the other side that you're going to take off as well. And, uh, oh, let's see. I don't have very good nails, so anyway. Some pretty sticky stuff on here so you want to be careful with it and don't really let it bubble up and start at one end when we apply it i've already cleaned this with alcohol it's an important step to make sure you don't have any uh anything on your plate when you start with this because once it sticks it does not want to come off and i think i feel comfortable with that right there i was going to press down kind of like you're putting on a cell phone cover it's going to press down, kind of work some of these bubbles out a little bit around the middle of it, and push them out to the edge, and go all the way down with it. And I just kind of do this with my fingers at first, and then I'm going to come back with a putty knife and flatten it out even more. I like to do it with the plastic still left on it. So I don't scratch up the PEI too bad. And I'm not a professional at this, but it's been working for me on my other printers, so I'm going to do it the same way until it doesn't work anymore. I'm going to go all the way around these edges in the center. And it usually sticks pretty good. Don't usually have a whole lot of bubbles or a lot easier than a cell phone case really now i'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull the top layer off and expose the, the pei and i was introduced to this uh PEI stuff I, I I was just using the glass and and you know your your regular glue sticks here this uh Elmer school glue the purple stuff everybody says works so great it didn't work so great for me so uh I feel pretty comfortable with the way that this is laying here pretty flat I will tell you something guys time is is, is money for me and uh every field print cost me money so uh I purchased this stuff. It's it's a little pricey. It's called nano polymer adhesive. Uh, get this from uh, visionminer.com. Uh, they they apparently designed this stuff, developed it, and uh, I tell you what, I've used just about everything. Elmer school glue. I've used this glue stick. I've used the PVA adhesive. You know the the slurry that you make. Nothing works like this stuff. Uh, all you do with it really is just kind of put an X and then uh, and then wipe it on. So I just do it like this. And I tell you what, I've I've put this stuff on my other printers and uh, I've only applied it once on one of my printers. I know I've done at least 20 prints on it, and uh, it just keeps on going. But yeah, you just take a you take a rag or whatever you got and just kind of wipe it in i don't know if this is the correct application method for it. i don't know if they recommend something different but this has worked for me uh i haven't had any issues doing it like this and uh like i said i've applied it once on i know on one of my machines i've done at least 20 prints and i haven't had to apply it again now vision miner might not want me telling y'all not to apply it every time but uh hey if the product works I, I, i'm gonna i'm gonna report it the way it worked for me so uh yeah nice stuff like i said a little pricey but 
I'm uh, I'm pretty impressed with it. Anyway, uh, so that about does it for for this bed. Uh, looks pretty smooth. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, go back to my uh, control panel, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and heat the bed up. <clears throat> and heat the bed up to about 70, and um, just kind of let it cure on there. Let that adhesive stick to the bed pretty good, and uh, yeah, about 70 right there. Yeah, that's good enough. Leave it like that for you know five or ten minutes after it reaches 70, and uh, you should be good to go. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, like and subscribe.